Joining us now is former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. So, Mike, Biden's own son still owes taxes on hundreds of thousands in income. And President Biden has the gall to lecture other folks about paying their fair share. Your thoughts? It's just uh, beyond amazing. David, uh, this fair share stuff, I hate that language because the truth is most people who do earn a lot of money also pay an enormous amount of taxes. And when Joe Biden gets out there and talks about the millionaires and billionaires that they don't pay taxes, it's a lie. It's just a flat lie. And most of the taxes in the country, about 80% are paid by the top 1% or 2% uh, earners in the entire nation. And there's a whole bunch of people who pay nothing, absolutely nothing, for the benefit of being U.S. citizens. Hunter, by the way, is one of those people. He's a deadbeat. He didn't pay his fair share, still hasn't. And he had to go to court to finally pony up to pay for uh, the daughter that he has in my home state here in Arkansas, where mm. he has uh, tried everything in the world to say he's impoverished while living in Malibu in a beachfront home yeah. and spending time flying around the world. So, yeah, it's a little hypocritical for Joe. He needs to maybe sit this one out. Well, meanwhile, it's not just the wealthy who are paying uh, a lot of money in taxes. It's, it's also Americans with the inflation tax. I mean, that's why they feel that they are behind the curve. That's why they feel this is not a good economy. And they, they do not give uh, Biden any credit, credit for the good things. And look at this. The top line, by the way, is, is uh, the real, is, is the nominal wage growth that we've had. We've had wage increases, but when you take inflation into account, we've had wage losses, and that's why Americans are feeling so poorly. Yeah, one out of three Americans say that the economy is in bad shape under the so-called Bidenomics. And if I were Joe Biden, the last thing I'd do is go out and say, boy, aren't you having a good life thanks to the economic plan that I have? Because they're not stupid. Their gasoline costs more. Their groceries cost more. Their rent costs more. Uh, their travel costs more if they get on an airline, if it even is going anywhere right now, because Pete Buttigieg is on the job and making sure a lot of the flights get canceled. I mean, you just keep going on and on. And when people look at their own circumstances, they have to at some point say, who am I going to believe? Uh, you know, am I going to be believe Joe Biden or my lion eyes yeah. that I have to live with every day? Now, there's also the question of competence, competence of Joe Biden himself uh, for the most challenging job in the world. He stumbles quite a bit. We, we put together a little collage of that, a montage. Let me play that roll tape. Well, guess what? Less than we, a guy driving a truck hit a anyway, knocked down a whole bridge and the whole blocked four lanes of the highway. Today, with the help of the Inflation Reduction Act, the Inflation Reduction Act a new plant's being built. Three quarters of U.S. industries grew more con consecrated, I mean, excuse me, consecrated. I'm thinking I didn't go to mass. Mike, it, it is painful to watch, but you gotta, you gotta watch it because he is the president. He's the commander in chief. Uh, he's, got, he's got somewhere there's a red button that we don't want him to get hold of if he's in one of his, his bad moods. So I, what, what, are we, what are we to do with that and how much will that play into voters' minds as they go into the election? David, you have to believe that high-ranking Democrats across the country every night are saying, what are we going to do? This guy cannot be our nominee. Keep in mind that those gaffes that he was uh, giving out in Chicago, this was not some impromptu speech and he was suddenly thrust into the podium to make some comments uh, off the cuff. That's scripted. He's reading from a teleprompter and he can't get the words together because he, he just seems addled. And then when he finishes a speech, somebody's got to come over, grab him by the arm, tell him which way to go and lead him off because he doesn't know. Even though there are arrows that are painted on the stage. I've been to lots of presidential events and this is not like Gee, I wonder where he's going to go. All he's got to do is look down at his feet, right. follow the arrows. He can't do it. David, this is pretty serious. Mike, then we have the Republican side. This is the last question, but uh, even though you have some changes in the polls, Vivek uh, Ramaswamy is up a little bit, but DeSantis is down and Trump is still way ahead. I'm just wondering, is there anybody or anything that can stop him from being the GOP nominee? Well, it's not going to be what the Democrats are doing, because every time they attack him and they indict him, his numbers go up, because people aren't stupid. They look at what Joe's getting by with, they look at what Hunter's getting by with, what Hillary got by with, what Democrats, even let's go to Adam Schiff, gets by with. 
And then they see Donald Trump has his home raided at six o'clock in the morning and this constant persecution. And people are ready to say, let Trump have another shot at it because we know he's motivated to clean out the deep state. Even if before the election he's convicted of a crime? I, I think people will see it for what it is. This is, in fact, as Donald Trump calls it, a witch hunt. What All else right. could it be? Mike Huckabee, good to see you. Have a wonderful July 4th.